Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Drew here from Lone Fox and I am so excited because first of all, you guys might not recognize this background because I have taken over my friend Hannah's apartment. She's actually currently in Rome right now, traveling and basically living her best life, which is kind of great and amazing. Me and Hannah actually have traveled before together. We went to Paris, Milan, Florence. I think those are all three places that we went to. It was super fun and she's actually back in Rome right now. So I asked if I could have her keys because I wanted to redo her little entryway in her apartment. Her apartment actually has like a really great vibe. I'm not going to share that much of it, but as you can see, like she can decorate pretty good herself, but she's had this entryway space that I've wanted to do for a while now. And it was kind of cute because Hannah actually sent me a little video basically being like, please, can you redo my entryway? Hi, Druby. Okay, so I know I texted you about this before, but I seriously need help with my entryway. I've been living in this apartment since March, and it still just looks like this. It's empty and it's boring, and there's like so much potential, but I have no idea where to start. Can you please help me? So I asked Hannah if I could actually have her keys while she was gone. She gave them to me and then I'll be here when she gets back. I'm gonna make do the makeover kind of towards the end of her trip and I'm just really excited. So it's gonna be like a simple little Parisian entry makeover. It's kind of just give me a lot of inspiration when it comes to colors, textures, um, silhouettes, styles, furniture pieces, things like that. I'm kind of going for a Scandinavian minimal slash Parisian vibe. I really am kind of focusing more on the Parisian element because Hannah loves Paris. And she actually maybe wants to move there one day so I figured I'd give her a little taste of Paris right in her entryway right when she walks in she could have her Parisian taste so that she stays in Los Angeles so without further ado let's get into today's makeover all right guys so I want to share with you kind of what Hannah's entryway looks like and this is the door to enter her apartment and then there's kind of like this hallway area here which I think I might do some stuff with but I'm not entirely sure just because there is also all of this space but over here Hannah has this console table here and I actually want to keep this because I feel like this is such a great size for this space it seems to fit nicely I don't see nothing wrong with it and then move these here because I want to hang up some art that I got from Decenio which I'm so excited about and then basically when you look down the the hallway it kind of goes back into her apartment which is so light and bright but this kind of nook over here is a little bit darker so we're going to, have to figure out how to brighten this up I want to jump right in with honestly my favorite part of this makeover, which is the artwork, which was in collaboration, or this video is actually in collaboration with Decenio. And I have heard about Decenio so many times. I've gone on their website multiple times in the past, but honestly, when I went on their site, I was kind of nervous to place an order because I knew that the uh, shipments were coming from overseas. However, when they reached out, I was like, let's do this. And literally, I swear to you, these pieces got here instantly within two days perfect quality amazing packaging nothing came broke everything came beautifully packaged it was all great i actually ended up getting four different posters uh in different sizes i got a kate moss one i got a girl under a bridge i got a parisian quote and then i got a little line art one as well and i'll make sure to link all the ones i did receive in the description box below la biote de la marche <laughs> Decenio was also super, super kind, and they gave me a 25% off coupon for you guys. So if you head over to their site, uh, you can get 25% off of any of the posters. This does not include custom pieces or frames. It's just for the posters. So you get 25% off using a code LONEFOX at checkout. They should definitely make this into a poster as well. I think they should. And this is valid until October 31st. So make sure to get your hands on these posters quick. Okay, so I have the prints framed, and they look so incredibly amazing like look at this guys i've wanted this picture for so long so i might have to steal it or purchase another one from decenio after this video so inside of hannah's apartment she has a lot of really cool like random pieces and i found this frame just you know sitting there so i'm gonna text her and ask her if i can use this for a diy because i think this could be such a good like base for this mirror that i want to create and i haven't been able to find like the perfect base for it so i have a feeling this can work really really well so hopefully she'll let me use it look how pretty it is though it's like vintage Vintage looking. Okay, so I'm back at Hannah's apartment. I didn't do much yesterday, as you guys probably saw, because those clips are probably super, super short, but I wanted to get an idea for what I was working with, and then last night, I actually ended up going shopping. I went to Crate and Barrel and Target to get a couple of things. All right, guys, so I'm actually on my phone right now because I'm heading into CB2. I'm gonna pick up a couple of items for Hannah's apartment makeover that I'm really excited about. Just walked in and met the sweetest girl that literally watches my channel and said that she applied at CB2 because she heard about the store from watching one of my videos which is crazy. 
Apparently I'm the worst vlogger in the entire world, but I'm now at Target um, and I actually found this. Ottoman, which is perfect for the space. They only had one here on this wall over here. So I was able to find an ottoman, which is great because I wanted to do like some form of small bench and CB2 didn't have the bench that I wanted in stock. The first thing I want to do is hang these up to kind of get a basis for what I am working with. And now it is time to hang up the art prints, which I was so excited about this. So I pulled off the two original ones Hannah had there, and then I went ahead and I added my Desenio art prints. So I just winged this. I literally used my ruler and just marked where I thought they should go, hung them up, and we were good. I absolutely love this Kate Moss one. It is my favorite one for sure. I got it in the largest size. I also got a little Parisian quote. I just got a couple of them to make kind of like a gallery wall, which I've shared with you guys how I've done this before. I have a video that is my living room makeover, and I have so many tips and tricks on hanging a gallery gallery wall, but this is what it ended up looking like. I am obsessed with it. So I finished the artwork and it looks amazing. Look how this is so graphic and pretty and it just reminds me of a Parisian apartment to start with. And then right over here is going to be where the console is. I just took it away, I cleaned it, and then I'm also um, gonna clean the floor a little bit as well. And then I'm gonna pull the console back in and style this whole console area because this is kind of gonna be a main focal point as well of the entryway. So as you guys know, I stole this frame from Hannah, but look what I created from it. I think it's one of my favorite DIY projects I've actually ever created. I think it's so pretty. It reminds me of one of those um, mirrors that I shared with you guys in my inspo pictures. So let me share with you exactly how I created this mirror. To create this stunning Parisian inspired mirror, I actually used these Amazon molds, which I will link below for you guys. I also used a bit of air dry clay, but I do suggest actually not using air dry clay and to actually use like a traditional uh, oven bake clay because it's a lot stronger. The air dry clay, I realize, is not as strong. It did work for the project, but if I was to do this again, I would 100% use either the oven bake clay or a resin. So basically what I'm starting off by doing is I'm filling the mold up with the clay. You're just going to press it into the entire mold, flip it over, press it onto a surface, and then pull off your mold. Pretty easy and self-explanatory. Uh, and then once I have those off, I actually created a total of 12 of them. So I did six of each of them. I then used an X-Acto knife just to pick around any of the edges that might've had a little bit of leftover clay. And then you're just gonna let these dry overnight. Of course, this is just for the air dry version. If you do the oven bake, you can just bake them and you're good to go. So these are all of my little filigree swirls. So next I used my favorite brass paint, which is like a gilded brass paint. It's so pretty. And I painted all of my swirls with this brass paint. You only have to do one coat because it is pretty opaque and very full coverage. And the great thing I like about this paint as well is that it dries instantly. So it's super, super nice to work with. So I went ahead and painted all of my filigree swirls. Once those were all painted, I picked up this mirror at the craft store, but they did not have a mirror that fit perfectly inside, which I kind of had an idea they probably wouldn't. So I had to actually E6000 this on and I added a bit of hot glue just to hold it in place while it glued. But as you can see, the mirror did not sit flat at all. So what I had to do, which I actually kind of liked this in the end, is I filled all of the gaps with more clay, which I just think adds a very handmade element to this mirror. I used a ruler to create a very clean edge and then I also went over the top of it with my fingers just to make sure that everything was nice and smooth but I had to fill in all the gaps this just made it look so much cleaner and then once all those gaps were filled in I went ahead and I glued down my filigree swirls and these were honestly just glued however I felt looked nice I used an E6000 again just to hold them in place so that they're super strong bond there really was no rhyme or reason to my placement I just wanted it to look very grand and pretty so I just kind of rotated the swirls into a position that I liked and I also did paint that inside clay border with the same brass paint and used some mounting strips that are heavy duty to mount this on the wall. The mirror looks so pretty, you guys. Look at me and Kate, by the way. I need to stop talking about Kate. You know, this is my video, but I am absolutely obsessed with this. Gonna clean the fingerprints off. Look how pretty it turned out. It reminds me so much of my inspo picture and it was super simple to make. It was a little bit time consuming, but the outcome is so pretty.
since Hannah doesn't have a boyfriend, I got her this, which is the perfect boyfriend for her. went to the downtown Target, which is actually my Target when I lived downtown because I don't think I started, I did start my channel when I lived downtown. I lived here for five years. I got this nice runner for Hannah's hallway because I feel like it just needed a little bit of texture on the floor. I'm gonna head back, put this down, and I think that we're gonna be done. All right guys, so I have finished the space. It looks so, so pretty. Honestly, I didn't do too much to it, but I think what I did do was really impactful. I love, am completely obsessed with the DIY mirror. All the Decenio art prints look incredible. And Hannah is actually in the building, downstairs right now. Um, it's not gonna be like any insane reveal, so I don't want you guys to think like I'm just like trying to do some crazy reveal, but I did want to just like reveal it to her because I'm here anyway, so it might as well just be fun to capture her reaction on camera. So let's see what Hannah has to think about this. Oh my gosh, it's so bright. Oh my gosh, Hi! Welcome home! <laughs> what have you got? Do you like hey, it? I, I'm speechless. Oh my goodness. Isn't it very Parisian? Very Hannah? I just, I love it. Oh, look, I made this mirror for you, Hannah. You no, I did. Oh, yes, I did. Frame. That's your frame. I stole it. Yeah, I did. Oh gosh, I have to clean it still. So I just realized I did not clean it, it so we are gonna clean so it. Good. Oh my gosh! Can you make that? Yeah, I made it out of clay. Kind of good, right? Wow. Why are you so good at this? Uh, I don't. Maybe she's born with it. Ew. And then I give you some hooks over there. I, I didn't do much. Like I definitely like just added like a couple things, no. but I think it's like really. I think the art prints are really what steals this the show, right? Insane. So I, pretty. Nice selection of shoes. Yeah, I know. I pulled them out of your closet. <laughs> Oh my god. How was Roma? Oh, say. Really? I really want more pasta. Oh wow. You should have brought me some. Do you have any in there? I do. It's full of spaghetti just for you. Perfect. Amazing. Thank you. All right. So that was Hannah's little miniature entryway apartment makeover. Look how good that mirror looks. Um, I'm so you're gonna, I'm gonna, I can tell that Hannah's going to be taking a lot of selfies in that oh, mirror. There's like a be lot all of photos. Selfies. Yes. For yeah. sure. So definitely guys, make sure to check out the Decenio art prints um, and use code LONEFOX for 25% off all your purchases until October 31st. So check them out right away because you're going to need to do so. A link in the description box below. And guys, also, if you would like to, definitely follow Hannah on Instagram. She posts really, really great photos. You can find photos from her recent trip to Italy. She has a very aesthetic vibes, which is why I wanted to redo her apartment. It's a Viva La Hannah. That's me. Put it right here uh, and I'll link it below. And make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post brand new videos every single week on home decor and DIY, uh, click the bell icon, follow me on Instagram, all those things. But I think I'm gonna let Hannah enjoy her apartment. Are you jet lagged? Yeah, get out, please, I no. wanna shower. Don't you know what to do, oh my god, no. <laughs> okay, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.